What you see on a finished video and the work that goes into it are worlds apart. They say there's about an hour of work for every second that makes it to the screen. Here's a look at some of the work that went into the making of Max Road Life 2.0 episode about the snowplow crews who worked the Thompson Pass near Valdez, Alaska. Equipment editor Jim Park back once again. I'm enjoying what seems like springtime in Valdez, Alaska, but it's actually only the end of February. The temperatures here in town are in the high 20s to low 30s, and the sunshine is so bright you really do need shades. It's a veritable winter wonderland for the folks who traveled here for some skiing and snowmobiling or even the helicopter skiing. You couldn't ask for better weather for outdoor sports. But we're here to film a Mac Road Life 2.0 episode about the snowplows and the Alaska DOT crews that work to keep the Thompson Pass open when winter throws its worst at us. I guess old man winter's having the last laugh at our expense. We started filming in Anchorage the day after the crew arrived. We started at Construction Machinery Industrial, which is an equipment supply company that offers Mack trucks and Volvo construction equipment amongst other product lines. Greg Morrison helped put together the Alaska DOT snowplows, and he knows a thing or two about trucking up in the sourdough state. I jokingly tell the state they turn these things into Swiss Army knives, because once you see one of them going down the road, you'll understand what I mean by that, because it's you take a Swiss Army knife and you fold out all the tools you know, that you can use at one time, and that's kind of what these trucks look like. The Mac has just proven itself to be, you know, one tough truck. As it happened, CMI took delivery that same morning of the very first Mac Anthem to be shipped to Alaska. After we wrapped things up in Anchorage, we drove the 300 and some miles over to Valdez. We grabbed lunch at a place called the Noisy Goose in Palmer, which is 28 degrees of latitude south of the North Pole. And I couldn't help but notice how low the sun hung in the sky, even at high noon. The scenery en route to Valdez was just spectacular, and we spent as much time stopped with cameras ablazing as we did driving. We went through the Thompson Pass from the west just after sunset, and the sky to the east was the most amazing color of pink. I'm just glad I wasn't driving. I got to shoot hundreds of photos during that six-hour trip. It's worth getting up early in Valdez because you get to see the first rays of sunshine as they kiss the mountaintops. The sky is crystal clear following a cold night and everything just glows in the first light of day. We drove up to the DOT station at Thompson Pass to meet the crew and to get some preliminary interviews done. Along the way we met a few of the locals and a couple of drivers who had nothing but praise for the work the Thompson Pass DOT crew does in keeping the Richardson Highway open. It's the only road linking Valdez to the rest of the state and it's a vital artery. Food and supplies in, oil and gasoline out. On the third day, we got a taste of the Alaskan mountain weather. A zero dark stupid crew call got us up to the Thompson Pass before the sun even rose. The temperature was minus 10 and the wind was ripping through the pass at 30 to 40 miles an hour. Our camera operators, Joshua Fox and Jeff Hartman, scrambled around looking for the best spot to catch the plow coming out of the shadows. I guess that's the sort of dedication that gets the money shot. Afterwards, we headed back to the station, scarfed down some breakfast and a couple of gallons of coffee, and then started making plans for the afternoon's on-road shooting. The two drivers in the Mac video are Moana Bradshaw, who's been with the DOT in Thompson Pass for five years, and Travis Chafin, who's been there for six years. We filmed interviews with both drivers and learned more about their responsibilities and what they like about driving snow removal equipment through the Thompson Pass. While there's no shortage of snow on the ground, none had fallen while we were there, so the crew had to get creative. The snowplows headed west from the DOT station through the Ptarmigan Drop to a section near where the Worthington Glacier sits, where they were able to break down some snowbanks and backfill the lane with snow. That's something they do regularly anyway, so the banks don't build up too high. While the plows do a great job of casting the snow far off the road, a big Oshkosh snowblower usually follows along behind the plows and tosses that white stuff hundreds of feet or more off the road. The great aerial footage you see in the video came from our drone pilot and sound recordist Michael McQueen. And I can't leave out our production assistant Carolyn Killer Bramer, seen here on the right in this group photo. She did just about everything else, from driving the follow car and slugging cable to getting lunch and keeping everybody smiling. She has an amazing sense of humor and some kind of instinct for always being where she needs to be when she needs to be there. 
The camera crews and the snowplow drivers managed to get some great footage of the plows in action, but Mack had to send a crew back to Thompson Pass a couple of weeks later. They tracked a storm inbound to the area and then jumped on a plane, timed to arrive just before the storm did, and they got all the footage they were after. A week in Valdez would be spectacular at any time in its own right, but being up here for this adventure was one of the high points of my career, I have to say. I tip my hat to the whole Mac production team and to the snow removal crew at Thompson Pass. You have to watch the Mac video to see more of what they do and to learn about the Damalanche of 2014 that closed the Richardson Highway for 12 days. In the other video in this series, we take a closer look at the Mac granite snowplows that make it all happen up there on the Thompson Pass. The Mac Road Life video is now live on YouTube and you can check it out at mactrucks.com slash roadlife. In Valdez, Alaska, I'm equipment editor Jim Park.